what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of crash on store or crashing on store issue you're currently having with car x drifting online so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want to you guys know or let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really help me out as a little youtuber as i am so the first step I would recommend doing for everybody is going to be to navigate to the very bottom of your screen where you're going to right click your taskbar and open up your task manager. Next step is going to be to navigate to the top left corner of your screen clicking onto processes and once you click processes I want you to click one of those random processes and once you click that you're going to type in using your keyboard the name of your game. If nothing pops up it's good for you, if something pops up simply right click and hit end task. Once you're finished with that I want you to end the task manager again. Next step is going to be to take your Launch a shortcut on your desktop or your in-game shortcut on your desktop. Take it, right-click it, and hit Run as an Administrator. Once you click Run as an Administrator, your game will pop up or your launcher will pop up. And I want you to launch your game over the launcher. And if it crashes again, return back to your shortcut. Right-click it, go to the very bottom where it says Properties. Click into Compatibility and simply copy my settings. So let's quickly run through it. Enable Run as Program Compatibility Mode 4. Select Windows 8. Disable the Disable Full Screen Optimizations as well as enable Run this Program as an Administrator. Hit Apply and OK. I would personally recommend to reset your PC afterwards and once it is restored, you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right into your shortcut. What I want you to do next is going to be to launch a game over the launcher, launching him instantly and this will probably fix your issue. 